The woman who was badly injured while riding on one of those double-decker tour buses filed a lawsuit today against Starline Tours. She says a deadly accident last week involving another rider should never have happened. NBC4's Hetty Chang live in Hollywood right now. Hetty, you were actually on one of those buses today, correct? Colleen, that's right. It's a very popular company. They operate the big double-decker buses like the one you see behind us here. I did purchase a ticket today. I got on the bus, and I did notice that all throughout the bus, there is actually warning signs, warning people that passengers must remain seated at all times while the bus is moving. Common sense, some people say, but this woman now coming forward says there definitely needs to be some kind of verbal warning for everyone on that bus. If you look really closely, you'll notice Lauren Guerra's left eye is slightly different from her right. She has a fractured eye socket she says she got when her face slammed into a hanging tree branch. It happened, she alleges, when she was standing up along Venice Boulevard on the top deck of a Starline Tours double-decker bus last October. My boyfriend at the time pried my fit hand off and everyone was over me and I got this reaction of... <gasps> Gara's vision may never be the same after that night. Today, she's filing a lawsuit against Starline. Gara says she decided to speak out after hearing about Mason Zazette, the 16-year-old who died after hitting his head on a freeway overpass last week on a Starline tour bus. It was such a simple precaution that could have been taken to prevent this kid from dying. And like what we heard from Zazette's friends. We got on the bus and that was it. N nothing else. We were never told not to stand on the top. Nor was I when I boarded a Starline tour bus this afternoon. All I did really was present the guy my receipt. He said, uh, pick any seat you want and, and have a good time. There are these warning signs that say passengers must remain seated, keeping hands and arms inside the vehicle while the bus is in motion. But again, the bus driver never told us anything like that. Nor did he tell me to put on my seatbelt. Chartered bus or not, Gara speaking out with a strong warning to others. Please know that if you're on the top of the bus, there's a possibility of getting hurt, possibly killed. There was another woman on that same bus ride who claims that she too was injured, but she has yet to file a lawsuit. It's important to keep an eye on both with Gara's case and Zazette's case. They were on a privately chartered bus that was operated by Starline Tours. We have, of course, tried to reach out to Starline several times today, but so far our phone calls have not been returned. That's the very latest here in Hollywood. I'm Hetty Chang, NBC4.